how's everybody doing and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video we are actually going to be doing my first full owner's review of my brand new Swagtron T6 off-road hoverboard. So as many of you guys may already know who are watching, you guys might already know that my first Swagtron T6 off-road hoverboard actually arrived with a defective Bluetooth module which actually allowed for me to ship it back to Amazon Canada where I initially purchased it back in the beginning of August and I actually was able to swap it out two weeks later for my second Swagtron T6 off-road hoverboard which is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love the experience of riding it and owning it. Uh, it's very easy to take care of as well. Very little maintenance. All you really have to do, plug it in, check it, and check the tire pressure. Make sure that the tires are good and that you're not going to blow a tire or anything. So just always make sure that everything is in working order and you're always good to ride. So just so you guys know, I've absolutely had an incredible experience with Swagtron. I absolutely love this product and I can't say enough good things about it. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing my positive owner's experience with you guys, with the things I do like about it, and some of the things that uh, I don't like as much about it. So let's get into the topic of today's video. And before we continue on with today's video, I should actually introduce you guys to my brand new business partner here. This is Piper. Say hi to the vlog. I guess she doesn't talk. Okay guys, I promise we are gonna get into the topic right now. I know a lot of off track in today's video already. Um, but yes, no dog here right now. Actually, there is a dog right there. Anyways, moving on guys, I'm done talking. Let's get into today's video right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So here we have it guys, the Swagtron T6. Sorry about the bear paws. They're not a part of today's video, nor is this helmet that's got a lot of hate on the channel. Nobody likes this channel whatsoever. Not this channel, this hat. Why did I even say that? This channel, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not thinking right now. Helmet, gone. Hoverboard here, charger here. Let's chat. So here we go, guys. I'm about two kilometers from my house and I have 5% battery remaining. So this is not looking too good, especially with the weight of this thing. So I'm not looking too forward to what is about to come in the next 5% remaining. I'm going as quick as I can. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so check in number one here. I've actually made it quite a lot further than I actually expected to. Um, so maybe we'll make it home, maybe not. I think I got another kilometer to go. Let's see. No way. I made it right to here where the start of the forest is. And I just got to go right over there. I'm so lucky. Just carrying it just a little bit. Okay guys, so we are actually out in the garage now where I actually have better lighting and actually better audio as well. So here we go. I'm going to give you guys a full explanation on my full owner's experience with the Swagtron T6, everything I like about it, uh, all the capabilities and features it comes standard with. So let's get into that right now. So as you guys can see from starting at the outside of the hoverboard, it has a very bold appearance. With very thick tires, they're very wide, they stick out and they look incredible. Really, really tough design. They hold up amazing and um, they get through everything over rock, over stone, over lots of uh, branches since it's fall here now. It's absolutely incredible. This thing, the ride quality, it's actually a rough ride when you're, you're just going slow. But whenever you pick up some speed, this this thing, oh, it's incredible. It feels like you're riding on like Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. I absolutely love it. And I know that you guys can't fully tell on camera, but this hoverboard is actually not plastic like the majority of hoverboards are. So we do have rubber, of course, on the tires. This is actually a tubeless tire, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, the wheels, in my opinion, they look amazing, uh, but they're actually really dirty right now, so they do not look amazing currently. You guys can see all of that dust. I'm definitely gonna be cleaning it up soon. Yeah, like look at my finger there. It's pretty bad, um, but moving on to the overall design language of the Swagtron, you guys can see that this part here is actually a full-on metal, uh, metal or aluminum, I believe, and it's held up very well. These are actually the tire flares 
Um, so without these, the hoverboard to ride it, it's absolutely, uh, I don't really like it to ride like that, um, but I, I just always choose to keep these on uh, because it gives it like a beefy look and um, it's probably a lot safer rather than having an exposed tire completely because like if you fall over, then you're gonna land on the tire and all that stuff. Uh, you guys already know about that, but I absolutely love this hoverboard. Uh, nice um, anti-grip uh, pedals here. Not really pedals, but uh, just stand up um, where you can make the hoverboard move back and forth. And um, all around here, this is actually all fully aluminum, which I love all the way around. Um, but the bottom is actually plastic and the top is like an aluminum metal-y um, design. So if you guys are actually currently looking for a hoverboard yourselves, you want something that you can go in the forest, you can go off-roading with, you can go through water, you can ride it in any condition really, um, definitely go check out the Swagtron T-Sticks for yourselves because I absolutely love it. I love the design, the quality, and everything that it's built up of, and the hype is real with this thing. So definitely, the price point is right on the Swagtron, so definitely guys, go and check it out for yourselves using the link in the description down below and I actually did forget to mention that this hoverboard actually comes with a carrying handle because of its weight I'm not too sure exactly how much it weighs but I absolutely love that it has this carrying handle and you can actually not just carry it from this handle here you can actually carry it from the tire flares here because that way then you don't have to give all of the weight of the hoverboard to one arm and completely strain yourself so that is actually one really cool feature that I love. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't like using this lifting over here when it's raining out or when I've just come through a whole bunch of mud or else then your hands turn out all dirty. I know you can wash it off. I, I am a Canadian, so I'm quite used to nasty weather. So now I'm actually going to be showing you guys my first exterior feature on my Swagtron T6. And it actually comes standard on all Swagtron T6s, I believe. I'm not sure if the other ones have it, um, but you actually have to turn this feature on through the Swagtron app, which I will actually demonstrate as well in today's video. I'll show you guys that a little later. But uh, starting off here with the charge port and the power switch, it's actually located on the rear side of the hoverboard. So simply to turn it on, all you have to do is hold this button for about 1.5 to 2 seconds and uh, before I actually turn it on fully uh, this is actually your charger port uh, just plug in your um, the charger that comes with the hoverboard uh, and there's actually like a little thing here to keep water out of it I always keep that on uh, but now to start up the hoverboard hold it for a little bit let go and look at that the hoverboard comes right to you or uh, in that case it actually goes right away from you um, which is actually a really cool feature I think uh, but now that the hoverboard is on, I'm going to show you guys some of the other cool features when the hoverboard is on, which I've learned throughout the 171 kilometers of ownership. So now, as you guys can see here, the hoverboard is actually turned on right now. And uh, you guys actually will see two lights here, a green one and a blue one on the other side. Starting with the left side here, the LED indicator here is actually for st stability. Uh, and this here is actually uh, indicated Fully, uh, it'll light up five bars when the hoverboard is completely calibrated. I've never had to recalibrate it before, but uh, whenever this light here goes down, that will just tell you uh, whenever you need to recalibrate it, is actually what I believe uh, after reading through the book and watching some videos, because there's actually not a fully clear explanation on what exactly this is, but after my research on it, it's just for the calibration features of the hoverboard. Moving on to the right side of the hoverboard here, you will actually only see one blue LED light currently because the hoverboard is not fully charged. I think I only have like 20% remaining because I've actually been filming this video today uh, and I actually just got back from riding uh, for filming the first part really. Um, but here you guys can see only one LED and that is because it's not fully charged. But usually you guys will actually see five LED blue lights all the way up, uh, fully lit up. So uh, just keep that in mind that usually it's at five uh, for 100% to I believe 80% because it's actually five and it uh, actually goes off of that 
uh, certain percent range. So I think that if you have three, you're in the uh, range of like 70 to 65 or something. Um, but it's, yeah, it's really confusing to actually figure out like which percent you're at. But um, it's really not if you guys have a, a uh, cellular device and if you can just go on your phone, connect to the hoverboard's Bluetooth, and then you guys can learn all of the information about the hoverboard, including its odometer reading, uh, the distance that you've traveled currently, the battery temperature, the battery charge, uh, the overall battery life remaining, like including like the battery health, which, which uh, all iPhones currently have, iPads, iPods, etc. Um, but yeah, there you guys have it for the full um, sort of interior because there's not much really more that I can show you guys um, except like the whole riding capability of it. Um, but I absolutely love this hoverboard, a really, really nice ride. And I'm sure that if you guys like hoverboards, don't start off with this one because um, this one can get pretty tough sometimes to learn how to ride. Um, but if you guys just start in the easy mode, maybe if you're going to get this one, uh, check it out. But maybe if you're just starting for the first time, buy a cheapie at Walmart for like under uh, 200 bucks. Try that out. See if you guys like it. If you do, um, maybe go ahead and purchase a Swagtron T6 for yourselves. And that's all that I can really recommend for you guys because this by far is the best hoverboard I have ever had. And I should actually give you guys a full walk around of the Swagtron T6 here uh, because I haven't done that yet in today's video. So here you have your 10 inch off-road all-terrain tires. Uh, they're actually a tubeless design. So the uh, tire fill is just over here, I believe. It's actually engraved into where one of the screws is. Um, and Swagtron's done a really, really good job designing these tires and uh, finding the perfect fit for them on the T6. So now moving around, you guys have a nice design all the way around. Um, same tire over here, um, but one tire has actually been losing uh, quite a bit of uh, tread now since I've actually done a ton of donuts on this for the Instagram account and also just trying to film these videos for you guys. Um, these tire flares are actually dinged up a little bit too. I've had a few wipeouts on it over time. I'm not a perfect rider. Um, nor is probably anybody else. You gotta make mistakes sometime in life, we're all human. Um, I've got some flies on it. Ugh, just wish they'd go away. Uh, but yeah, these tire flares are like a little bit dinged up. No biggie though, because I am gonna plan on wrapping this uh, once I get it all cleaned up. Um, and I've actually been sourcing out what kind of wrap I want to use. And I've actually found a company who is willing to fully design a wrap all the way around, they're gonna actually send it to me and it's already gonna be fitting for this entire hoverboard and then all I have to do is apply it. So that's gonna be absolutely incredible. So definitely stay tuned guys for that coming to the channel, hopefully very soon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the Swagtron app and everything that it comes and offers, all the features of it and yeah, everything else about it. I'm just currently waiting for the train to pass before I can actually talk to you guys again or else you're just going to hear a horn honking the whole rest of today's video. Anyways guys, the train is now gone and um, I think that I'm actually going to finish off talking with you guys about everything that I like about the hoverboard. Uh, I absolutely love it and if you guys are looking for something like this for yourselves, maybe to get to work, maybe to get to school, um, or maybe just to ride around your neighborhood or wherever you live. Um, and maybe if you live near some forest trails like me, maybe you guys can take uh, something like this through the forest. Um, and for the price range, you guys, you can't beat it. Like $677 Canadian with tax included. Um, and you're probably gonna get about three years out of this battery before you have to replace it. Um, and the tire tread's actually pretty good. I mean, yes, I have went through one tire a lot quicker than the other from constant donuts and uh, drifting and gravel. But uh, that's gonna happen, um, especially when you're in my position when you have to create content for YouTube and throw it up there for you guys. But um, anyways, guys, uh, I am gonna tell you guys, I absolutely love this thing. So if you guys want something like this, go and get one for yourselves on amazon.ca using the link down below. Anyways, guys, I think that is actually going to do it for today's video because today's video has actually not just been filmed today, but it has been filmed for the over duration of five days now. So um, yeah, I'm getting pretty tired of filming this video. 
um, and I'm just looking forward to getting it fully edited for you guys and getting it up on YouTube. But I think that we're actually going to end off today's video after I do the ending of today's video with a um, sort of ride in my whole owner's experience of riding the hoverboard um, and everything that you guys will see if you get one uh, in the full experience because I want to try and make this uh, as realistic as I can for you guys and help you out with your buying decision. So definitely guys, um, I hope you did enjoy today's video because uh, it was pretty fun to make it even though it took over five days to make it. But um, yeah, I think that that is actually going to do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, you guys already know what to do. Go drop a like down below. And if you guys are stopping by the channel for the first time, haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.